Hey everyone, uh, here's just a quick update on the Voyager build. And as you can see, I've kind of skipped ahead a little bit uh, from the last time I showed you an update on it. And uh, not a whole lot of work has been done, uh, even though it looks like it. Um, on our last video, I know we were talking about getting this uh, back section here completed. And for the most part it is, uh, there's still a few little touch-up spots I need to do. Um, I got a uh, hole drilled in there for the uh, base, and then I've got this uh, small little pine box here that I think I'm probably going to end up using for my base. It's not as elaborate as uh, a lot of the other ones out there, but I think it'll work for my purposes. And then the idea being that all of the wires are going to come down um, into the box and then those two circuit boards are going to be in there. But I, what I really just wanted to show you on this update is kind of one way at least you can try to uh, wire this kit. So um, this is just kind of mocked up. It's not, you know, in any way completed, obviously. But what I wanted to show you is how I plan on wiring this guy. So uh, if you can see right there, I just uh, cut out a small hole and out of that comes this insane mess of wires and cables. And uh, that is going to be what powers all the lights back there. Now on this one, there's not gonna be a light test. Uh, maybe on the next video, I'll do one for you guys, but uh, it looks pretty cool. I think I've showed it uh, lit up before, but uh, there's still, some few things to work out but anyways um, you'll see that the cables just come out of there and then they're just going to go into that and then that'll run down and then now something I've done also actually has to do with the base I'll show you here is this just actually bolts onto the kit like so and then slides down in there um, the only advantage, I guess, really to that is as the model pivots for whatever reason, you're not going to have this brass tube scratching up your paint job. So I think I saw someone else do that. I wanted to give that a shot. So uh, that is that. Um, let me show you how I'm lighting up the deflector. And I know it's not in frame, so just bear with me for a second as I remove the saucer section. All right. And uh, all I've really done for here, I've added a light strip um, that's gonna go all the way around the deflector dish. And then I've actually got the uh, little deflector piece in there painted. And uh, it lights it up pretty nicely. And actually, I think without too much effort, I can light the deflector up. I know I've shown the um, warp engines, but let's take a look. I can show you uh, It's kind of getting um, a little difficult to start lighting things up at this point because uh, what I did, which I don't know if it's good or not, um, but I am not running any resistors in the model itself. Um, all the resistors are going to be on the circuit board, so I don't really... I don't really want to, uh, you know, start trying to plug different things in here and there and get them all to light up because uh, I don't have to worry about the strip lighting, but I do have to worry about the uh, smaller individual LEDs like the ones back in here because those will just fry on 9 volts. So let me get this positioned here. And let's take a look. Aha, I gotta plug that in. One second, guys. All right. I unplugged my power supply to plug in a Dremel tool. Let's give this another shot. And let's kill the overhead lights. And camera's kind of washing it out, of course. Let's try killing all the lights, though. All right. So 
It has a nice even glow. It looks a lot nicer, believe me. It's not this bright, obviously, but uh, it's got a very nice glow to it. It looks beautiful as far as I'm concerned, so. That's how I'm lighting that up. And then down here we've got our uh, two saucer sections, or our two pieces of our saucer. And all I've really done to them since the last time you guys saw them is gone in and put in the uh, color I wanted to use for the phaser rays. And then I've got this piece glued in back here. This has to get some uh, touch up for it though to kind of make it stand out. And what I've done over here is just sawed this chunk out um, that way. When we're up here in the model, my wires can pass freely in and out. And all that's really left, uh, as far as getting this guy done, um, I've got to, I think what I'm going to work on next is getting the lighting for the saucer section done. And then probably get the saucer section uh, sealed up. Um, get the wires run down. And all I really have to do at that point is... Uh, the back section with the engines isn't glued, so I need to get that glued in place and then just work on light leaks and uh, there's a few other LEDs I have to install. I have to install the ones for the photon emitters there and then the ones that are going to go on the back. Um, I'm going to have the uh, strip lighting in here and then I need to get the strobe lights and the navigation lights in. But I think that'll take maybe an hour. Um, I'm not even concerned about that. And um, get all the rest of the pieces glued in. Here's the uh, secondary deflector that's going to go right in there. And uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, just a quick little update. Um, I'm hoping, I don't know exactly, uh, I'm hoping to have this guy done within the next couple weeks. Um, this project's taking me way longer than I thought it would be. Uh, my next one isn't going to be quite as in-depth, uh, so it should go a little quicker. Um, it's something that's going to get me used to the aztec -ing decals. But uh, that's another subject for another show. So anyways, um, that's the progress update. Uh, I hope it's looking good uh, for you guys. Uh, I'm liking the way it's turning out so far. I think on the next video I'll have a... Um, a little light up for you and uh, we'll see how that's going so I appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll see you next time